Okay, so doing some reading of the BL Halley supported uh, ESCs under Emacs 12 amp. It says uh, switching speed is slow, so probably not a great ESC. Um, in order to use the bootloader, the resistor and capacitor circled in blue must be removed. Removing the capacitor will increase the noise sensitivity of the input and may affect running performance. So the one that's talking about is that one, that one there, and that one there. Uh, I'm not even sure I can get those off without stuffing the ESC. If I do get them off, um, removing the cap will increase noise sensitivity, sensitivity of the input and may affect running performance. But then if I can't use bootloader, BL Halley bootloader, I don't think I can connect to configure it. Uh, yeah, so, I don't know, I think I need to do a bit more reading. Okay, so with these Emacs 12 amp BL Halley ESCs, they have a version of BL Halley on them, but uh, I don't seem to be able to connect to them with the BL Halley software to update them um, and to change the configuration of them. They offer a uh, programming card, a little $10 programming card, um, but I like to be able to use the BL Halley software um, to, to see on the screen the parameters and uh, and to be able to update the BL Halley firmware version, I, I think their version of it was 10.2 and uh, the current version of BL Halley is something like 14.3 um, so as they come uh, not easy to do that so following a guide on, on the YouTube video I've added a um, servo lead to be able to connect to it via the Arduino Uno um, and updated them to the latest BL Halley um, and so during that process found that they don't support damped light or active braking so we'll see how that goes maybe in the future I'll swap them and see what sort of difference having damped light versus not having it makes but so um, Here's one where I've soldered on a lead and that connects up to the Arduino and you can just uh, update the BL Heli firmware that way and change the configuration. Um, I, I won't recreate that video because there's a there's a pretty good one on YouTube. I'll put the link in the uh, comments below. How to, how to do that. That was a pretty simple process. I'll just zoom in. So there it is there. Ground positive and signal to a servo lead. And that connects up with uh, BL Heli via the Arduino. And so, in the end, you get. Uh, so here's one I've covered over with heat shrink. You've got the power leads coming out the end, the normal connection to the off to the flight controller, and now another lead um, for any future Bell Heli updates. I'll just plug into that, and away you go. Thank <laughs> you.